Hey, welcome back to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I'm I'm terrific. I'm I'm wonderful. It's it's a great day. Uh, this right in front of you, I got when I was we were coming back from Houston. Stopped through uh, our usual hotel in Tucson and found this at the uh, the literally the grocery store right across the street. It is from Hus Brewing out of Tempe, Arizona. Uh, I think it's South Tempe. Uh, yeah, they they have been around for eight years, and they acquired uh, five years ago, I think it's Papong, Papongo, uh, I may be saying that wrong, brewing, uh, and yeah, they're the th now they're the third largest brewer, I believe, in Arizona, so there you go. This beer is called Coffee Kolsch. What they did, and I'll re read it just so I have it right, uh, they took their traditional light-bodied Kolsch and they cold steeped it with a caramel and hazelnut, or caramel and hazelnut freshly roasted coffee beans. Uh, cold steeped it, there you go. And uh, yeah, you know, it's supposed to be as refreshing as as their regular Kolsch, but with a nice uh, coffee punch. I've, I've, I've sampled one of these before and uh, it's, it's, you, 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 you're going to get some coffee. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, Hus Brewing out of Tempe. Glad I discovered this beer. Uh, 4.7 on the Richter, so still a session coffee uh, Kolsch. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Uh, let's get to it. Go Nuggets. Go Buffs. Go Bronx. Go Dodgers. Go Rockies. Let's do this. All right. And on that note, do me a favor. There is a like button directly below me. Please crush it right now for me. Crush it. And there's a subscribe button too. Crush that as well. Please subscribe. All right. There you go. So, mutant in appearance. Doesn't, you know, doesn't, if you look at that, you, you are not picturing coffee. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to tell you, there's some coffee in there. So, um, let's see if there's anything behind the can I need to, uh, say, no, same, same old, same old blonde coffee ale. All right. Nice. Look at the, there you go. Get a little pub for Hus Brewing. And I noticed one of their beers I'd like to try is, uh, I think it's, it's either Papongo. It, how do you say it? Is it Papongo? Let me just look at it because it sounded pretty good. Papago Coconut Joe. Uh, so yeah, if you're listening, Hus Brewing, love to get samples of your beer. But uh, that one sounds extra delicious as well. I'm a, I'm a coffee guy, so all right, let's do this. Hus Brewing, no words, just emotions. Let's go. Oof, that's exactly what it is. Hazelnut. Oof, that is nice. Hazelnut, coffee, subtle caramel, but man, that is um, almost, you know, when I when I had this, in, uh, the one I had of this in the hotel, I think I only had one, uh, it reminded me of their, uh, there's a brew I did by, oh geez, um, McKellar, that was a coffee, they brewed it with coffee beans or whatever, and it was so raspberry sour coffee or, or that had coffee beans mixed in it. It was really good. And that's, you would have never known by looking at it. It's kind of like this. You never know looking at, you know, look at that. It looks like a Budweiser or something, right? But what do you get? I mean, that is, that is great um, hazelnut and s subtle caramel flavor. I mean, it, literally that's what you get. It's like that overpowers any kind of like, you know, hops or malt from, from the beer. Um, yeah, it is, it is simply coffee delicious. Um, wife loved this cause she, she loves, uh, you know, caramel, hazelnut coffee. It is, it is delicious and, you know, refreshing at the same time. I mean, 4.7%, super, super, uh, you know, crushable. So yeah, glad I bought a six pack of it. Still got plenty left. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. It's kind of basically it. I mean, they did a really good job of making this taste refreshing, but have the hazelnut coffee with a little hazelnut and caramel in going with it. And it is, I mean, 
if you tasted this blind and couldn't see it, let me think. Would it would it seem like a porter? Let's see. No, I mean don't know. It I mean it's so light, like you, you you can tell this isn't you can tell by the body, like when you when you feel when you taste it, that it's not a you know, a porter or a stout, like doesn't have that thick a body. Might be, you know, twenty percent mouthfeel, but coffee is so rich, it's so so tasty, so delicious. Um, all right then, rating time from stellar down to hell no, don't want a hell no. Can already tell you, from down here is off the board. We are looking at stellar down to a decent on this one, and let's see. That is, you know, I'm going to say only because it's not like super huge. I mean, it is great tasting. Do not get me wrong. It is great tasting. It could be, and it's super crushable, but it just, like, it, I would still need even more depth to it to be, to step up into the solid and stellar range. So. I'm going to give this top end decent, or as we like to say, pretty, 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 pretty decent. Okay. Larry David will not be stealing that, as I've said before, so don't come looking for me, Larry David. Um, okay. Got a, little, got a little marker on my finger. It, can't, can't have any blemishes. Uh, yeah, this is great. Um... Got this for ten ninety nine a six pack when I was in Tucson, so look out for it. Uh, people seem to like it on on tap too. That's kind of how I found it. Seem to get some pretty good uh, regards on there, but uh, it is refreshing and got got that nice hazelnut coffee. It's all in one thing. I mean, it's it kind of blows your mind a little bit. So good job, Hus uh, Hus Brewing out of Tempe. Uh, would love to try the Papago uh, Coconut Joe sometime. Uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, I will tag you on, uh, Instagram and maybe you'll see this and, you know, taste more e-brews. So, uh, that's about it from the beach in Studio City. And, uh, yeah, we'll see on that. I think I've got a Miller Lite left and I think we're finally going to get to the Houston tours of beers. Um, yeah, some ingenious, some spindle tab, some back pew. So. There we go. Uh, good talk. See you out there. Peace.